right. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> but don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects from long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue times exceed six months. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. My job is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other... Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Hi, my name is Martin Tw And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this floor. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Okay. 
allocations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness Do that now. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blue... This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. That's not supposed to look like that. This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Ah, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use Survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. Aww, it's chilly. They're drugs. What good drugs? For healing. Not fun. Hey, look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic Nomad Plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. These aren't reeds. deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Say pasta paisana, buffalo banana wings, horse biscuits, pineapple pizza poppers, lands flea Tower moving above you? 
I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Ethically iffy, yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. which may be useful in our exploration effort. Please take it. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna pop. Might want to get that. Just remember you did your best. It wasn't very good, but it was your best. Hey, buddy. So, you died, and I made a clone of you that shares your memories. Listen, just don't overthink this. Our bioprinting is accurate to 99.1%. So, as long as you don't die... 49 more times, it's all good. Superlicious mega morphological food paste from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with Platinum Slurp Plus, Nutra Minerals, Power Booster, and 20 million. Rock, anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, pork, chocolate mousse, our candy, chili bacon burger, sunny mayonnaise, chives, baked seed, parmesan cheese, vanilla. Swirl, Bon John Donuts, Salisbury Steak, Pasta Paisano, Buffalo Banana Wings, Horse Biscuits, Pineapple Pizza Poppers, Lance Flea, Poutine, Wonton Fecal Surprise, Cucumber Shit Water, Nose Broth, and literally trillions more! more. Now that's good flavor. Rob, the 100% artificial food replacement shell taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob, eat with the mob. Replace your food with Rob. Rob is considered a plus nine retro cluster and is not cleared for non-terrestrial territory. Do not under any circumstances speak to Star Journal. See website for details. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... Whoa. <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity, after all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me, okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Meat scraps, fat and gristle, finding its way to your trash? What a waste! 
or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting. Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the snugly playmate from Slimo. feedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. I won't lie. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock hard space tumors. 
good news. Potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. <laughs> Like a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly.
to make the attempt, the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not, the cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. Some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. <laughs> Before you jump in, Kindred says I need to read you a 400 page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. <laughs> I speed read it. <laughs> Useful 
resources to print a brand new jump pack at the habitat. While untested and not necessarily safe, it is guaranteed to be amusing. you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. Upgrade synthesized. Upgrade complete. Temperature 92 degrees. Bio signs nominal. <laughs> 